So how'd you prepare for the Broncos? Bridgewater tape from Carolina, Broncos stuff from last year, a little of both. How do you try to figure out what they're going to try to do? A little bit of both. Um, you know, looked at what Sherman's been. Um, you know, another coach is from that tree, but, you know, we definitely watched Teddy B at, you know, uh, Carolina. You know, the games he played at uh, Denver, a couple preseason games, but, you know, still got more tape to watch. Last year they did a lot out of shotgun, right? But I think, you know, Drew Locke was the quarterback. Do you think there's more under center, traditional run game stuff with Teddy there? Or do you think it's going to be still a lot of shotgun? Um, I think it'll be a mixture of both. Um, you know, they have two willing backs, so I think they'll try to, you know, get those guys the ball, get get the run game going earlier. Um, so it's up to us to stop the run. You know, the run opens up everything else for them, you know, their boots, nakeds, you know, things of that nature. So, you know, I think, I, I think we'll see it all. First game, you know, we'll see. What have you seen in the times you've, that, that Kadarius has been out there? I know he's had some setbacks physically, but what have you seen out of him first training camp? Oh, you know, gifted athlete, ex exceptional ball skills, quick twitch, great burst. Um, I haven't seen him open up full speed yet, but, you know, from the times I did see him running in a little short spaces, you know, he looks, you know, pretty fast. You know, we got a lot of really fast guys here now, but, you know, that's that's been my consensus. Um, so I'm excited to see whenever whenever he's ready to get back out there, you know, I'll be excited to see him out there playing. As somebody who's been in the league for a few years, can you tell with a young guy how ready he is for his first NFL experience, so to speak, if that makes any sense? You kind of can, yes, but you know, you'll you'll know once you put him out there in a game setting with all the extra stresses that you know the game the game brings. That's how you really get your telltale. But you know, you can kind of tell if a guy's ready. You know practice in training camp, but the game is the ultimate to. If I could ask about another guy who's obviously coming back from it was Saquon on the other side of the ball. Uh, there's been a lot of attention about, you know, whether he's, you know, how ready he is. He's the same guy as he was last year before he got hurt. What do you see in camp? I mean, he's been working on the side a little Yeah, he's been working, man. He's been working his tail off, you know. That's, that's one of the hardest working guys on the team. Um, you know, he's been working. He's going to keep working, and, you know, whenever he's ready, you know, he'll be out there making plays. But. You know, for now, we just want him to get healthy. You know, we're going to keep trying to, you know, get him as ready as possible on the, on the defensive side of the ball. And, you know, we can't wait to get him back, absolutely. Would it be a surprise for you if he's out there on Sunday? I mean, we don't know yet. You know, that's up to him and his body, between him and the training staff. So, you know, we'll see. Jabril, I know Coach Judge has been talking about you guys giving him a little bit of contact. How much contact is he giving you? Hey, you know, that's Saquon. So, you no, know, he's going he's gonna to run hard, but... You know, it's up to us to make sure that when he's ready to go back out there, he's ready to go back out there. So, you know, we got to bang him up a little bit, you know, go after the ball just to get some contact on his body. You got the first shot last week, right? Uh, I tried, tried to, tried to. <laughs> How'd it go? Pretty well, pretty well. You know, he's not 100%, so I don't really, you know, take too much in it. So we'll, we'll see how he's feeling now later in the year. You talked last year about how as much as your defensive responsibilities that you take them seriously, as a punt returner, you just couldn't wait to finally bring one back. Absolutely. Do you go into this week or this season feeling like I'm, I'm going to still break it? Absolutely. You know, you always got to feel like that back there, you know, but you can't rush it, you can't chase the plays. Um, you know, I got to do a better job of making better decisions back there. Um, but, you know, I'm also be patient, you know, wait for my pitch to hit, and, you know, hopefully when they give, you, give me one I can take back, you know, I'll do my due diligence. You were a good defense last year. Uh, top 10, you know, in some metrics. What do you, in your mind, like, what does this defense need to do? Like, what can take it to the next level? Oh, you know, it's a new year. So, you know, we got to keep building our cohesion, you know, building the camaraderie on that side of the ball. You know, we got to gel a little bit more, you know, got some different schemes going in. Um, so, just about getting all on the same accord, playing fast, running to the ball. Um, you know, the sky's the limit for us. You know, we're not thinking about last year. It's a whole new year for us. Um, you know, we, we, we know the type of defense we can be. It's just all about the, all about going out there and putting in the necessary work. What do you think, what do you think about the possibility of being used more as a pass rusher? Uh, whatever they need me to do, man. You know, I'm just trying to impact the game in any way I can. We saw some of this last year, but how excited are you that they're putting the ball in your hands? I'm very so, excited. Kick return, punt yeah, return. Very, like we all know excited. you can do it. Yeah, very excited. Is that something you lobbied for more? I mean, you know, I always, I'm always gonna lobby for that. Um, you know, but we have a lot of willing and capable guys, you know, who have returned in this league and been pretty damn good in this league. So, you know, T Mac got a lot of choices back there that he can go to. Uh, but, you know, obviously, you know, I'm going to do my job and make sure whenever I'm out there, I'm impacting the game in a positive way. Have you thought about, have you thought about the idea that 
you could very well be the first giant to touch the ball on Sunday and therefore like set the tone for the season in the game. I mean, I, I, I haven't really I thought about it like that. I yeah, I mean, I haven't really thought about it like that. It's just, you know, whether it's kickoff or kickoff return, we got to start fast.